Okay, to illustrate the differences in quality of a shot when using high ISOs as opposed to low ISOs, I'm just gonna quickly take a photo of the piano behind me because it's got both light and dark areas being the, the different shades of the key colors. Um, I'm gonna use the 5D Mark II, which is actually very good at high ISO. So what I'm gonna do is take one shot at around 50 ISO, which is the lowest and least sensitive. I'm gonna take another one at 3200 ISO, which is the most sensitive and which should produce uh, a little bit of grain or noise to the image. Now, the reason I'm using the piano is, um, if you've read our stock photography section, you would have seen that um, a simple shot from this piano has actually sold a couple of times and made a few hundred dollars on Alamy. So it's really important to get this grain or noise under control. So what I'll quickly do is, like I said, I'll take one shot at 50 ISO. Now, bear in mind that um, a very low ISO or very non-sensitive um, sensor will mean I'll have to use a very slow shutter speed. Both shots will be taken at f8 to get good depth of field. Um, but when I'm using 50 ISO, the shutter speed is going to be very slow, so I'm going to have to use the tripod. For the second shot, if I'm using 3200 ISO at f8, I should be able to get um, a more handheld shutter speed of around 60th or 80th of a second, which means I don't need to use the tripod, which is why high ISOs come in handy at some points. Say for shooting weddings, you might want a, a, sh a faster shutter speed, whack the ISO up and take a shot. So for now, let's just take those two shots and then we'll look at them on the computer. Right, we're now in Canon's Digital Photo Professional, which is their raw processing software. And here's the two photos that I took. This is just um, a custom white balance shot I took of the wall. <clears throat> now, once I turned the, the studio lights off, the room actually went quite dark. And if we look at the properties of this shot, you can see that ISO 50, aperture f8, we had to take a shot at 30 seconds. So it's a very, very long exposure, which is why we needed the tripod. But if we go in and have a look, you can see here there's absolutely no noise or grain whatsoever. The image is very, very clear. Very, The blacks are absolutely spot on, uh, very smooth. And if we go down to the other bits here, you can see there really is no noise at all. So I'm pretty happy with that, as I should be. Uh, but if we look at the 3200 ISO shot, we'll look at the data quickly. Here we are, ISO 3200, aperture f8 and the shutter speed was only 0.6 of a second, so we gained a lot of speed there. But if we look closely at the image, you can actually see there's quite a bit of grain. Now what's gonna happen here is the the camera in the raw setting had the noise reduction actually set on. So you can see there it just flicked and actually works on the noise itself. But if we turn that back off, so there's absolutely no noise reduction in house whatsoever. If I turn that off, you should see that this will go back to being relatively grainy which it has there and you can see there's quite a bit of difference um, the grain the noise there at normal viewing isn't too bad but when you view in at hundred percent you can actually see the noise and grain coming through but it's still not that bad so really we only need to do either a little bit of noise reduction either in camera or within the raw processing software to actually alleviate some of that grain um, or basically you can use other um, standalone software or um, import software for Photoshop such as Neat Image or Noise Ninja. Now you can see there just by adding a little bit of noise reduction um, in-house on the Canon Digital Professional um, you can see it's actually reduced the grain quite a lot so I'd be quite happy with that as a shot and it might pass muster as a stock image but the best way to get rid of noise or improve on that is to load it into Noise Ninja or Neat Image which is what we'll do next just to show you how to reduce noise um, from an image with a standalone piece of software.